Okay, I'm trying something a little different with the uh, loom, I mean, with the loom and using a ribbon, I mean, um, ruffle yarn. And I'm trying to do something to where the um, ruffles are not set straight on top of each other, where they're spread out more and you get more of a, of a stack rather than a right on top of each other which would take less yarn to cover an area I'm doing this flat because it's going to be the front section of a dress I'm working on I'm going to have a ruffle section of a dress I'm working on right now for my daughter so what I'm going to show you is how I'm doing this and everything so what I did was I initially put um, I go in and am putting, like, I put that one on, skip, put that one on. So, like, every other loop I put on the peg, okay? Now, that was my initial cast on. Then I did a slip stitch, and I'll show you pictures of this. Then I did a slip stitch, and I did a knit all the way around, just straight out knit all the way around, and then I did a lacing technique two times, okay, which is what you've got here. So what I'm going to show you is how I'm doing this. And you can do this circularly, but I'm doing it flat, okay. So here's what I'm doing. Now, how I've done this is I've got my ribbon, me my um, ruffle yarn on the inside of the loom because we're working the negative, and I've got my yarn that I'm working with to do the lace on the outside of the loom. Okay. Well right now I'm ready to pick up and because I'm moving to the next row and I've done several rows I'm going to skip the next three. So there's one, two, three. Then I'm going to stick this on the peg and toss the loop over. Okay. So, to get back to our thing, we did that one, so we're going to skip and we're going to add this one in and we're going to toss the loop over. There's the next one, so we're going to go to the next one and toss the loop over. And you're going to do this all the way around until you get to here and you'll see that that's going to get you the second layer. And what this will do is it'll spread out your ruffles so that it's not right on top of each other and it'll give you more dynamic. I've kind of gone in and researched this and I haven't found a whole lot of um, variations that do anything like this um, so that it does this. So this is something that um, if you've seen it before, let me know, but I haven't, I haven't come across somebody doing it this way, where you're splitting up the ruffle rows like I am. Um, so go ahead and complete that much. Go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you the lacing technique that's being done in here that is going to split it up. And you'll want to go with a similar color to what the ruffle is so that it's, when it shows through, because this is the positive side in here and this is the negative side and you'll see it when you do several rows so go ahead and do that take and get you a ruffle row done and then I'll show you how to do the lacing that'll break up the ruffling even more okay I've done my row of ruffle yarn and you can see already that it is splitting it up and thinning it out and making it really nice and neutral. Instead of it being right on top where the bottom's right here, it's in the middle of it. Okay, and uh, I'll give you a little trick. I like to go in and wrap my um, yarn out so that it has time to permanently stay out. And then when you're done with it, it'll hang looser. So um, now that we've done that row, we're going to pick up our outside yarn and start some lace. So the first row you're going to do is just a knit to get you on track. So I always do a knit around. So 
So knit all the way around and then I'll show you the next row. Okay, we're to our second row at this point. And what you want to do is you want to, if you're knitting flat, then you just knit that first one. If you're knitting circularly, then you can just continue it all the way around or whatever. So what I do is I knit the first one, then I knit the second one, pick up that loop, move it over to the next peg, toss the bottom loop over. Then I knit the next peg, move that over, toss the bottom loop over, knit the next peg, decrease, and knit the decrease. Knit, decrease, knit the decrease. You can do this all the way around and you should knit the last one here. So do this all the way around and then I will show you the next row which is a knit yarn over. Okay at this point every other peg should be empty and we're going to do our next row of lacing here. So we're going to knit our first one then we're going to knit and then your yarn over is just going to be laying the yarn over the empty peg. If I don't lose the stitch I'm working with here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So lay the yarn over, literally lay the yarn over the empty peg and knit the peg that has a stitch on it. And you're going to do this all the way around. Okay. And then we're going to do a knit purl and go from there. So um, go ahead and complete that row and then I'll show you the next row. Okay, now we're going to do a knit purl. So knit purl. You're purling the yarn overs so that you know exactly what you're doing. So you knit and you purl the yarn over. And if you want to know how to keep up, you know your yarn over is this here. You see that big gap. So that's your yarn over. So knit purl and you're going to do that all the way around okay until you get over to here and then what you're going to do is you're going to be starting from the knit again so you're going to knit the row then you're going to do the knit then you're going to do decrease decrease uh, knit the decrease knit so you're going to start with that that bit again. So once you're done with this row, you're going to knit your way back around. Then you're going to knit that first one. Then you're going to knit, decrease, toss the bottom loop over. Knit, decrease, toss the bottom loop over. So you're going to follow the the video back from when we started using the yarn. So you're going to do this set patterning one more time when you do this, okay? And then once you're done with the knit purl, you um, stop there. Okay, so you're going to be stopping right here. All right. Um, then you'll pick up your your ruffle yarn and you'll do the exact same thing. You'll skip three and start there and then put every other one on or then you'll be starting the video back from the beginning okay so this is the last set of the lacing to do the knit one purl one okay so that's the last stitch of the lacing once you pick up this you're going to repeat with the yarn here, the regular yarn, you're going to repeat what we just did one more time, then you're going to pick your ruffle yarn up and start adding that in. And as you can see, what it's doing is it's allowing more space in between the first one and the second one, and it's going to stack up like that with a lot more um, spread out layering so it'll really have that nice classic more of a, a layered ruffle feel. If you want more space in between your ruffles simply repeat the lacing another time. Instead of doing it two times you'll do it three times and this is a real basic lacing here so um, 
keep that in mind. So once you finish this row, start from where we pick up the yarn again, knit around, then do the knit decrease, and then you're going to do the knit yarn over on the way back, and then you're going to do the knit purl. Then you're going to start right back from the beginning of the video, and instead of going this way, you're going to go this way, and you're going to count three back. So one, two, three, and then put the fourth one on and start knitting over, okay? And doing the every other one. And that is how you spread out your ruffles using the uh, ruffle yarn so that it's not stacked right on top of each other. It has a nice layered feel. So that's how you do that. And I hope that was educational and that you take the idea and you put it into some of your own projects. Me, this is going to be an accent area to a front of a dress. And um, I'm going to be decreasing it down to where it's just a front panel. And uh, if you're decreasing, you can decreasing while lacing. And you just pick up where the ribbon is because it's going to be traveling with your um, with your yarn. So decreasing is not even that hard, but as you can see, this is your negative side. So the lacing is going to show up here. All right. But the opposite side, you're just going to see lots of layers of the ruffle lay, uh, yeah, the ruffle yarn. So, um, I hope this was interesting for you and educational, and I hope to see many projects coming from using this concept of breaking up the ruffles using my lacing technique in between adding the ruffles. Again, I keep the uh, ruffle yarn in the middle and the working yarn on the outside of the loom. And so, um, yeah, that's how I do my ruffle yarn. <laughs>